Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to talk about a cellular organelle of the eukaryotic cells, which is the plastids. So let's see what are plastids. Plastids are found in plant cells and in some of the euglenoids. So these are not found in the animal cells. These are the uh, pigments, these are the actually organelles which have got colors because of the presence of some pigments. Now because of this colorful pigments, it imparts color through the plant parts. Various plant parts color is imparted by the presence of plastids. Based on the type of pigments a plastid contains, it can be of three types. What are those? Chloroplast, chromoplast and the leucoplast. Now we are going to talk about all these three in detail. So first let us talk about the chloroplast. So what are chloroplast? These are chlorophyll containing and carotenoid pigment containing plastids that is present or found in the plant cells. These pigments they are very much responsible for trapping light energy which is essential for the process of photosynthesis. So photosynthesis is possible because of the fact of the presence of chlorophyll or the chloroplast because they absorb or trap light energy which is coming from the sun. So this light energy is in turn used in the process of pho uh, photosynthesis to make food energy uh, molecules for the plant cells. So these are very important for the process of photosynthesis. Now chloroplasts, they are mostly found in typical cells which are known as the mesophyll cells which are found in the leaves of the plants. These mesophyll cells, these are lens shaped. They are oval, spherical and discoid organelles which are found in the leaves of the plants. Now let us take a look on the structure of the chloroplast. How a chloroplast looks like? These are double membrane bound structure like that of the mitochondria which are double membrane bound. These are also double membrane bound structures as you can see here. This is the inner membrane, this is the outer membrane of the chloroplast. So these are double membrane bound. Now, this chloroplast, it has got a dense colorless granular structures that is granules in the form it is present which is colorless inside this chloroplast. As you can see over here, this is known as the stroma as it's marked over here. This colorless portion we are seeing, these are actually granules. It contains a lot of granular structures. So this is known as the stroma. This stroma, they contain specific important enzymes for the process of photosynthesis. So these enzymes will be responsible for the process of photosynthesis, trapping energy and making of food materials for the uh, plant cells. So these are present in stroma. Now the stroma also contains small double stranded circular DNA molecules as you can see over here. So this is the chloroplast DNA and it has also got some of the ribosomes inside itself. Now the chloroplast, they have got the presence of flattened membranous structures or sac-like structures which are known as the thylakoids. So what are the thylakoids? These flattened sac-like structure, each of these, these are known as thylakoids. Now you can see these thylakoids, they are present or stacked together. This whole stack is known as the granum, which is the singular and all these uh, stacked structures together, these are known as the granum, which is the plural form of the granum. So each of these single disc shaped structures, these are the thylakoids and these thylakoids, they are stacked in the form of granum and all these granum, they together make the grana. The ribosomes present in these type of chloroplasts, they are mostly of the 70s type ribosomes. Now the next structure is known as the chromoplast. What are chromoplasts? These are the presence of fat soluble carotenoid pigments, for example, xanthophylls. So these are the fat soluble pigment containing uh, plastids which is again present in the plant cells. They provide different, type, different types of color to the plants. The third type we were talking about was the leucoplast. What are leucoplast? These are colorless plastids which have various shapes and sizes. Now they actually store nutrients. Now different forms of these leucoplasts are present and different on the basis of the type of food materials it is storing or the type of nutrients it is storing, it is named differently. For example, the leucoplasts which store carbohydrates, they are known as the amyloplast. Leucoplasts which are storing oils, they are known as the ileoplast. And the leucoplasts which are storing proteins, they are known as the alluroplast. So in this video, we have talked about the cellular organelle of the eukaryotic cells, which are known as plastids. We have talked about the three different type of plastids, which are chloroplast, chromoplast and the leucoplast. We have also talked about the structural detail of the chloroplast and we have seen how, what are the different structures present inside a chloroplast. 
I hope you have understood and liked this video. Thank you.